Praise God. Hallelujah. You are welcome in today's Hour of Grace. I want to welcome you and your family. Anyway, you are following us. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for your mercy and grace upon us. Thank you for your children that are following this ministration. Thank you for your, their salvation. Thank you for your love. Thank you for making them to be able to follow this ministration today. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. That place where you are, let Jesus touch you, transform you, and give you eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our topic today says, Go and sin no more. Let's look at the book of John, chapter 8, from verse 10. John, chapter 8, from verse 10 to 11. When Jesus had lifted himself up, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Had no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. This is a voice of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He met a woman whom the community, the people around, considered as a war sinner. They wanted to kill this woman because to them, this woman does not supposed to live. To them, this woman is a disgrace to humanity. To them, this woman don't deserve to see the light of the day. They gathered together in the market square. Maybe they may have stripped her naked, about to kill her, and Jesus came. And when they met Jesus, they said, wow, it's not even that we want to kill her. We want Jesus to also condemn her before we kill her. And they went to Jesus and said, Master, you know what is written, that whosoever that commits adultery must be stoned to death. What do you say, Master? We caught her in the very act. Give us your judgment. Bible says Jesus stooped down to show that he understands the weakness of man. He understands that no one is perfect. He understands the condition that what is going on in the realm of the spirit. Devil is busy looking for souls to send to hell. God is busy looking for souls to send to heaven. And devil was rejoicing because he went to gain a soul. And heaven was crying because they want to lose a soul. And Jesus stooped down. I guess he stooped down to weep. How can I lose this soul, this beautiful soul? God created this woman in his image, a beautiful woman, a good-looking woman. And Jesus was weeping over her soul. At the end of everything, Jesus said to them, If you know you have no sin, cast your stone against her first. If you know you have not sinned before, be the first to cast stone at her. Bible said one after the other, they left from the eldest, to the youngest, and left Jesus and the woman alone. Jesus turned and said to her, Where are the accusers of yours? Where are those people that are accusing you? Where are those people that said that you deserve to die? Where are those people that don't want you to see the light of the day? Where are those people that want to send you to hell expressly? Maybe when this woman was in need, many of them may have seen her suffering, they never care to know if they will provide they can be of any help to her. Maybe when they see this woman misbehaving, none of them may go to her to preach to her and say, Sister, the way you are behaving, look at what the word of God is saying concerning it. Many of them we are silent when things are happening, when things are going wrong. They could not intervene. But when it is time to kill, all of them appeared. That is the nature of man. Man will not show you love for you not to fall. Man will not help you so that you will stand. But once you struggle and fall, they will be the first to destroy you. Your message where you send to him, I need money, I need assistance, I need support, they will delete the message. But that message that portray where you messed up, that message that portray where you are in trouble, they will forward it to many people and say, look at the so-called Christians. Look at, I know she will fall. Are you 
following this ministration, and you are one of those that are praying for people to fall. I know he will fall. I know definitely she will fall. The way she's behaving, I want to ask you, that person you want to see the downfall, do you know that if that person eventually falls, devil will get a soul in hell. Heaven will lose a soul. How many people are you expecting to fall? Rise up and be of help to souls around you. There is a serious debate. There is a serious business in the realm of the spirit. Satan is looking for souls. Jesus is looking for souls. Do you know that Jesus said to this woman, Neither do I condemn you. The righteous Jesus, the holy Jesus, the savior of the world, the most, the pure, the Jesus that is pure. All of us, we are trying, but we are not as pure as Jesus. That pure and holy Jesus did not even see reasons to condemn her because the main purpose of Jesus is to save her. That she fornicated is not an express visa for her to go to hell. Somebody must help her. Her case is not beyond redemption. She may be wicked. She may be the worst person around. He may be so wicked. That man may be causing a lot of troubles. But do you know, he's not the worst. That may not be enough reason for that soul to go to hell. You can help a soul. You can win a soul. You can advise a soul. You can train a soul. Those young men roaming the streets, do you know you can rise up, pick one person out of them, train that person, and that person will become somebody. Those ladies moving up and down from one club to the other. You brother that is rich, do you know you can pick one? Make her to be, to be responsible. Even train her in the school. You can take care of him. You can take care of her. One problem we have today is because we always want men to end up. When they fall, you begin to laugh. When they fall, you begin to call people around and say, come and see your own. But Jesus said to this woman, neither do I condemn you, but go and sin no more. Do you know that Jesus is giving us another chance to go and sin no more? My dear, are you a sinner? Jesus is giving you an opportunity. Go and sin no more. Jesus, instead of seeing every reason to kill us, to destroy us, he said to us, go and sin no more. Jesus is a soul winner. If you're a man of God, a child of God, Jesus we know is a soul winner. He don't, he's, the pleasure, he has pleasure to see souls won for him. That's why he said, I came to seek and save that which is lost. Are you seeking for souls? You are like Jesus. Are you a soul winner? You are like Jesus. May God help us in Jesus' name. Father, help us this hour to be soul winners. I pray for you. Let your soul be won by Jesus. Be delivered from the pit of hell. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.